Hi everyone, it's Casey here from Edge Engraving. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick lesson here to show you guys how to switch out your tabletop to a rotary attachment. Uh, rotary attachment lets you engrave any type of mugs, cups, glasses, anything that has to spin or that's like a cylinder shaped or like a, a sphere shape. Uh, so I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna flip it over and you can see the tabletop and then I'll show you the rotary and I'll show you how to put it in. So you can see right here, this is the tabletop. We use probably, uh, I don't know, 50% of the time. There's another tabletop we use that has a, a honeycomb so you can actually cut through material. And then this is the rotary. This is the rotary attachment right here. So it gets plugged in, which you see when I pull out the table. It has a motor here. This end actually spins the device. And this side just sits here. It just rolls on this. Uh, you can adjust how big an item goes in here. The height of this side in case you need to tilt it. This spins up. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. So first thing you want to do is make sure your table is lowered. If you try to put in the rotary while it's high like this, you're going to end up hitting the uh, the slide when it goes to turn on then. So let's hit focus. And we're going to lower it down, hit the down arrow. This is on an Epilogue Helix. Uh, it's a 60 watt one, but this is pretty similar to all the Epilogue Helixes. All right, that should be low enough. You're now going to hit reset. You have to hit reset to get out of focus mode. Flip up all these sides. And now you can pull the tabletop right out. Slides underneath for easy storage. We're going to drop this down. There's holes that you have to line up. Hole here, hole here, hole here. And underneath on this side, there's these pins. You need to make sure the pins get locked into the holes. And you don't want your wires pinched. Now this is very, very important. Make sure these are down because they can hit your laser head if they're up sometimes, depending on how high you are when you're engraving. And now super crucial, before you plug this in, make sure your laser's turned off. So we're gonna hit the switch on the side to shut it off. You can see it's now powered down. It's now safe to plug this in. It even says on here specifically uh, not to not to plug in unless it's turned off. It can cause electrical damage. I'm gonna plug it in. Make sure all the wires are clear again. And now you're good to turn it back on. It's booting up. It's gonna go through its homing. And now because the rotary's in, the laser head came over to the center where the rotary actually is then. And that's it, that's how you swap out your table to rotary attachment.